It was 75 years ago that Germany's Nazi party stepped up its campaign of persecution against Jews over two days of terror known as Kristallnacht or the Night of Broken Glass. Commemorations are being held globally to mark the coordinated attacks in Germany and Austria by the Nazis' paramilitary wing and non-Jews. Synagogues were torched, businesses looted and over 30,000 Jews were arrested for deportation to concentration camps. The persecution of Jews started in Germany in 1933, but Kristallnacht is seen as the event which intensified the violence which eventually led to the Holocaust. Survivors remember the time when the Nazis rose to power in the 1930s. One survivor, 89-year-old Shlomo Walkovic, a Polish-born Jew, fled Germany occupation and went to live in the town of Zolochiv in current western Ukraine. In 1941, Zolochiv's Jewish population were taken to a local fortress and forced to remove rotting bodies of hundreds of victims from a mass grave. Walkovic endured four years of torture and persecution, including being shot when Nazis opened fire. He says he had no time to be scared. The thought of what could happen next preoccupied him. After the war, it took time for him to realize what happened here and there. 90-year-old composer Ursula Mamlock lost almost everything except for her grand piano, which she was able to take into exile in Ecuador. She says people were too scared to go into the streets after the synagogues were set on fire. A chemist shop in her street owned by Jews was destroyed as men stood in file preparing to be taken to concentration camps.